Becoming a blockchain developer is one of the fastest ways to make six figures in 2022, no matter where you're starting from. You know, the demand for blockchain developers is absolutely insane. It's one of the highest paying fields in tech. But in this video, I want to talk about how to make an extra $100,000 per year, you know, as a blockchain developer who works this technology on a daily basis. And I've actually done a lot of the things that I'm going to talk about in this video today. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you learn how to master blockchain step by step start to finish, then head on over to dabuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So let's get into this. Let's talk about how to make an extra $100,000 per year as a blockchain developer. So I'm going to break this down into some different things. Like I'm saying, hey, here's the first thing. Here's the second thing. Here's the third thing. And I'm going to actually rank these in order of like, here's what's most likely to work for you, what most people are going to want to do. And then, you know, kind of order it to where the least likely, maybe least desirable or the hardest thing I should say is last. And then the other thing I'm going to say about this is you don't have to just pick one of these. Okay. Any one of these could make you $100,000 per year extra you know, as a blockchain developer on their own, but you can also combine these things together. So definitely take that into account when we're getting into this list. So the first thing that I want to talk about really is just getting $100,000 per year extra at the job that you're currently working or changing jobs, basically increasing your salary by $100,000 per year. So this is very realistic for a lot of people, no matter where they're starting from, because honestly, the sky is kind of the limit on what you can earn as a blockchain developer. Like some developers earn in the seven figure range. I know that's it's really rare. I'm not saying that you're just going to like make that salary after watching this video, but that shows you what's possible here. And you can see here on a website like ZipRecruiter.com, the, the average blockchain salary, but you can see how big the range jumps. Okay. And this isn't even the upper end of the range. This is sort of just like the default uh, li upper limit, because there's going to be some people below this range, people below this range. But just by the nature, this is over a hundred thousand dollars spread here. So if you say a hard concentration of people down here, it's very likely that you can move up the ranks. Now on a multi-year time frame, now I want to stress this: it's not like you're just going to walk out the door tomorrow and increase your salary. But that's one of the best ways to make a hundred thousand extra dollars per year is just increasing that salary. So how do you actually do this? All right. So I'm not just going to give you a suggestion and then not tell you how to concretely implement this. Well, if you want to make 100K extra per year in your job, then you need to actually provide 100,000 extra dollars per year of value. So there's two major ways to accomplish this. The first is just getting better as a developer. And that really just comes through experience. Like there's, there's really nothing you can do to substitute the amount of time and experience that it has to take. But if you hustle, you can speed that up and cut that learning curve. And that looks like, you know, going the extra mile beyond what other developers are willing to do and being hungry. Because here's the other thing. If you're super reliable at your job, even if you have the same experience level as somebody else, you're still providing more value than that person. So that can be a more attractive option. Even if you're more junior, if you're just showing up every single day and going the extra mile, you can still provide more value. So the other way is to, in addition to just becoming better technically, you can, if you can learn to lead other developers, that's also additional value that you can bring to the workplace because you're having that experience, but then also having a willingness to manage and lead it's going to be a huge value add, and that's a faster way to increase your salary as well. So another quick tip on increasing your pay is sometimes it's easier to negotiate additional earnings outside of just straight cash. So, you know, some companies may have this where your total compensation can increase through some other benefits, all right? Uh, or maybe you could do that through options, like stock options in a company if you have a company that actually has stock or any type of equity trade, Okay. Um, then if you get forecast where that can go over time, that can definitely lead to a hundred thousand dollar increase. Uh, another way is through, you know, crypto allocations if you're in the web 3.0 space, because, you know, there's a lot of people that do this type of thing. And those could, of course, pop off like a rocket, which could easily, you know, help boost that income as well. Now, that being said, some of these other parts will be more risky, but they can lead to 100K per year increase. So the next way to increase your earning as a web 3.0 developer, you know, past that 100K extra per year uh, mark is with freelancing. Okay. So, you know, you, like I said before, you could take your freelancing income as a side income and actually scale it to $100,000 per year and beyond, okay? You know, or you could just basically do it with some other types of thing and combine it. Like say, you know, increasing your salary and having some freelancing income, both those things could be combined. But let's talk about how to actually get involved with freelancing because, you know, one of the easiest ways is essentially to get started on a website like Upwork.com, okay? And so you can see lots of people on there. Like if you're just wanting to get your initial experience, you can see a lot of people who are, you know, just trying to, you know, build simple token projects or, you know, NFT projects. A lot of these are very rinse and repeat types of activities. And you can see, like, I teach you how to do a lot of that stuff on this channel. It's the blockchain bootcamp and it's all inside of all the DAP University trainings. 
And, you know, here's the fastest way to earn more money as a freelancer. Well, it's to charge more, okay? So you can do this through, like, increasing your hourly rate, of course. But you can also do it with fixed pricing based on the value that the client's getting. And when you're talking about NFT projects and token projects, where things are pretty rinse and repeat, if you have systems that you've built over time, where you can charge a flat rate for that based on what the client actually desires, and then you can deliver those in a fraction of the amount of time that it would take somebody else to code them from scratch, then the client gets the value and then you get, you know, more money. And if you find a bunch of people to do that, like you could quickly, you know, increase your income to scale that to a $100,000 per year income stream, uh, or maybe close to that, and then combines other strategies that I'm talking about. So Upwork's the easiest way to get started. But of course, if you want to become an established freelancer, maybe turn that into your full-time, you know, uh, income stream over time. And of course, you need to, you know, establish some reputation, uh, build a referral network, you know, probably create some sort of online uh, presence as well. So there'll be some additional work involved in that. But the easiest way just to get started, you know, get freelancing, just get some side income coming in is to register for an account like Upwork.com. All right, so that's the first two ways, basically to increase your salary and then also, you know, have some freelancing income, okay? So I I put those two things first in that order because, you know, those are the things that are going to be most accessible to most people. Most people just want to, you know, have a steady income stream. And those are the two that are probably the most sustainability over the long term to, you know, actually increase this in a predictable way over time. You know, job first, freelancing second. Now I'm going to get into some things that are harder to pull off to scale to that level in a sustainable way. But we'll still have to talk about them because some of these might be good opportunities that you want to pursue even for the short term. So next way to earn more money uh, to potentially scale this up to 100K per year and beyond uh, is to create some sort of blockchain based side project. And I could do an entire video on this based on, you know, a bazillion different ways, but I'm just going to lay off lay out some examples for you. So one of them is to create your own NFT collection. All right, we see NFT collections all the time selling out for you know seven figures, sometimes even eight figures. And I know the NFT market kind of changes over time based on periods of hype activity. Uh, but there is a big opportunity to make some money with NFTs. Now, full disclosure, this is not one thing that I have personally done. I've done the other things I've talked about before, you know, basically having a high income job and also having a high income freelancing income stream. But I have not yet actually launched my NFT project. We might actually do that. So if you want to you know, get in on that for DAP University, then definitely subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications. You're going to find out about that whenever we go live. But you can verify in the blockchain that lots of people are doing NFT drops and raking in some pretty significant cash. Now, I'm not saying this is just like dead simple, easy, like you're just going to do an NFT project, sit back. There's a lot of marketing effort involved. Like I'm saying, this is this is going to be a challenging thing to do. That's why I've kind of put it down in the ranks of this video. But that is one potential side project that could make you some extra money as a blockchain developer. All right, so another way to make extra money as a blockchain developer is with blockchain-based bots for DeFi. Whether that's for arbitrage trading, whether it's for liquidations, whether it's for, you know, NFT, uh, you know, minting. All right. There's lots of different ways that you can create your own bots to make extra money. Now, I've put this down the list because this is a competitive thing and it's challenging to do. OK, so I'm not just saying like it's really easy to just write some code and turn it on and boom, you have a now $100,000 per year income stream. But this is all verifiable on the blockchain. OK, I can tell you all this as a blockchain developer, you know, with trading by experience. You can see an example of this. You know, this is a uh, MEV trade that was over $31,000 in a single transaction. So, I mean, three of those is literally $100,000 per year. Now, I'm not saying it's easy, but it definitely is possible. And the path to, you know, 100K with this is to be either competitive. So you have to be fast. You have to understand how to compete with people like this. Or it's basically just to, you know, do other opportunities that people aren't currently looking for or aren't the same opportunities that some of these big players want. And another way for a similar type of bot would be like processing DeFi liquidations on savings and lending protocols like Aave. Again, this can be a competitive thing, but there's lots of other uh, you know, forks of Aave and other DeFi ecosystems that are popping up all the time in multiple chains that yield these types of opportunities. And there's lots of things you can go after and be the first to capitalize on those. And so those are examples of more side projects. Another those side projects is building your own blockchain-based application that charges fees, whether that's like, a you know, some type of aggregator service that, you know, plugs into other blockchain applications that charges a small fee for doing that type of aggregation, okay? I mean, yeah, I'm going to put that far down the list because there's not just the development effort, there's the marketing effort, there's getting people to use it, all that type of stuff. But, you know, it is, is a viable uh, thing and that could even transition into a, a full-time income and be your main focus, okay? So those are the side projects. That's another way to make, you know, more money uh, that could be scaled to that level. All right, so the last ways I want to throw out there, I don't want to focus on too much, but I do want to mention them because they are possible. These are a lot riskier, but I mean, you can make an extra $100,000 a year uh, you know, trading crypto. I'm not talking about, 
you know, becoming an ace day trader. A lot of day traders get, you know, blown up. I'm not necessarily recommending that, not financial advice. I'm just mentioning these because they are viable options. A lot of people get wrecked doing this, like, you know, leverage trading, do not recommend it. But in terms of buying crypto and holding it multi-year time frames, this is this is possible. You know, doing swing trades, I mean, 10X has happened in crypto. Again, I'm not, it's not financial advice. I'm telling you buy any crypto. I'm telling you to re- recommend that you do this, but it is a way to make more money. And then also, you know, some other ways are like running blockchain-based infrastructure, like, nodes and staking crypto to earn high yields but that's also less likely because you have to have a significant amount of funds in order to do that and scale that out to you know lots of different validators but that is a way to make extra money as well and again you may not make you know 100k off those things but if you combine all these things together then that could push you over this threshold all right so that is a list of things that you can do as a web 3 developer to make an extra hundred thousand dollars per year Again, you know, blockchain is one of the highest paying fields in tech. The demand for developers is absolutely insane. It's one of the fastest ways to, you know, change your career, and increase your salary, make six figures in 2022. And that's how you can make an additional six figures. So if you want to do these things, and of course you need the skills to pay the bills. So how can you get those? You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those, you went to the next step or hey, Maybe you want to take a massive shortcut entirely. You know, first and foremost, of course, smash the like button, subscribe to this channel. It really helps the videos out so the more people learn about blockchain. But if you ever want to jump ahead, take that shortcut, go for the throat. You know, I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So go check out dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.